In our day-to-day -day jobs, we're asked to be innovative. Someone said, go solve a problem somewhere and just make it matter. You kind of can't help but see, you know, the pollution, the, you know, the water quality, um, and, you know, you often try to think about how can I help. The Oyster Reef Monitoring Project is an innovation challenge sponsored by Northrop Grumman, where we aim to solve a problem, in this case, an environmental problem in our backyard. The Chesapeake Bay Foundation is the largest regional nonprofit organization dedicated to saving the Chesapeake Bay. Oysters' filtration capacity and their capacity to reduce nutrient pollution makes them so critical to the ecosystem. They're what we call a keystone species. We have the historical overharvesting followed by disease and pollution, which are really challenging the recovery of oysters. And that's why oyster monitoring is so important. The Technology for Conservation program is all about taking that energy and enthusiasm that our employees bring to their work each and every day. And what we do is we're harnessing the power of technology to develop and implement solutions to many of the world's sustainability challenges. Monitoring oyster reefs is a really resource intensive exercise. In the traditional diver assisted surveying, you really can't see even a foot in front of your face. The CBF has something like 50 known conservation reefs, but they can barely get out to five of those in a year. So we thought, well, we could potentially do this better with hardware. We have these three components, the sonar, uh, the acoustic buoy, and the rover with the light field camera. Each one on its own is a useful instrument, but we conceived it in collaboration with the CBF of sort of a systematic approach. Yeah, like that's definitely oysters. And then just like, yes, here. Stop, yeah, it's just stop here. Working with Northrop Grumman that have a whole different suite of expertise and viewpoints on the challenges that we face day to day, having someone ask that honest question of like, why do you do it this way? And having that new perspective can help you think about what you're doing and try and be more efficient in the future. We don't necessarily know what makes a reef tick. They bring to bear this wealth of knowledge and, and, and scientific background so that we can move on a problem like this with, with speed and purpose. You can see tons oh, of oysters. Clear. Yeah, that is really clear. We think that there's tremendous opportunity here for advancing technologies that could be delivered to oyster restoration practitioners globally. I think it absolutely could be a game changer. I'm kind of starting to think about what's next. We're not done here. I, for one, am now kind of inspired to, to find more problems to tackle.